Ever wonder why some things just look right? Why a seashell, a sunflower or even a well-designed website catches your eye and holds your attention? The answer to this is the golden ratio. It is basically a number approximately 1.618, often represented by the Greek letter phi. The golden ratio is closely related to the Fibonacci sequence. A series of numbers starting with 0 and 1, where each subsequent number is the sum of the previous two. As these numbers grow, the ratio between consecutive Fibonacci numbers gets closer and closer to 1.618. Architects like Le Corbusier designed buildings with it. Painters like Salvador Dali framed their masterpieces around it, and even musicians like the band Tool structured their songs using Fibonacci-inspired time signatures. The arrangement of leaves on a stem, the pattern of seeds in a sunflower, and the spiral of galaxies all exhibit this mysterious proportion. It's nature's way of achieving balance and efficiency. The leaves growing in relation to the golden ratio won't shade each other, allowing for optimal sunlight exposure. Designers and artists have long known that using the golden ratio can create visually harmonious and aesthetically pleasing works. Think of the Mona Lisa, the Parthenon in Athens, or the Great Pyramid of Giza. Whether intentionally or not, many of these masterpieces align with the golden ratio, creating a sense of balance and beauty that's hard to explain but easy to feel. So how can you use the golden ratio in your own projects? In graphic design, the golden ratio can guide the layout of a page, helping you place elements in a way that feels right. As graphic designer Jacob Obermiller says, placement is everything. By using the golden ratio, you can avoid clutter and create an orderly, balanced design. Think of it as a compositional tool, much like the rule of thirds. It's not a strict rule, but a guideline that helps you create visually appealing works. Human Factors Engineering student Sarah Burnt put it perfectly. The golden ratio is all about blank space and its relation to the pay attention space. It helps you understand the limits of human attention and design something that's easy on the eyes. I hope this video gives you a unique perception of looking at things. Thank you for watching till the end. 